we have our highlights perfect I click on one I click edit we can then edit in here <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Hess and I'm a governmental power apps, power platform developer. And today I was going to try to make power apps not look like power apps. There's entire industries about making SharePoint not look like SharePoint. Well today I'm going to make power apps not look like power apps, but I'm going to make it look like SharePoint. And to be exact, I'm going to try and make it look like classic SharePoint. So we're in classic SharePoint and I'm going to start with the left side navigation. You see the left side navigation here? Right now it's um, white when there's a little bit of a glow. So I'm going to go ahead and recreate that. I created a component with a width of 200 and a height of 768. I'm going to add a button. And this button is going to say home for now. And I'm going to remove the border radius and the color is going to be clear and the text will make black so here this color will be black and then the hover fill so I'm going to try and do this quick right I, I want my videos to be a lot quicker so we want closer to white so the higher numbers we go up here one one then maybe a 255 so I have a color that I like. All I'm doing is holding down Alt and hovering over the button here. I want the hover color also to be black. So instead of 255, we'll change that to zero. So now I have a button here. It, when I hover over, it turns to like a light blue. And I'm just gonna copy this button down. Just gonna copy this button down a few times. I was a project manager first, so tasks. I will just say um, resources. So we have a few different buttons. Um, now for the app, we want new custom properties and we want four of them. And I've gone over this many times, so I'm just gonna do this real quick. All right, so I have four properties of screen, type screen. And on each of these buttons, on the on select, we're going to say navigate component one dot home. All right, so we have that. So now I'm going to go back to my screens and I'm just going to insert that custom component and put it on my side here. So now when I press play, I hover, I have different buttons. Um, and that's going to match our gallery here. All right, so we're gonna insert a gallery. I'm just trying to do this very quickly. I'm trying to more show the UI, UX, how we're gonna do that than, than anything else. If you wanna learn all these concepts, I have tons of videos that we've gone through all this, but what I really want is the UI, UX to look beautiful. So I'm just making that a little bit smaller and at the top, we're gonna put our labels. All right, so I have my columns over the top side here. Maybe I'll make this a little smaller so it lines up here. These should be gray text. I'm gonna change these to gray text. And I can just hold down control and select all of them to do this pretty quickly and then go to color and change it to a gray text. Okay, now I'm gonna line up my fields in the gallery. So I don't want anything bold and maybe we'll make the font smaller. We'll go to a 15, we'll center it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do this across now. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to each one of these fields and I'm going to fix the text on each one. All right, so we have Power Apps. It still looks a good bit like Power Apps. If we go back to SharePoint, we notice that the hover fill so this is a trick that I've used a lot. And in order to do the hover fill, what I do is I insert a button. So I'm gonna insert a button across the whole way and I'm gonna make it clear. I don't want there to be a color. I want it to be clear. I want there to be no text and no border radius. 
we will say, let's try, what if we change it to this number right here to point 0.2? I think that'll work perfectly. There we go. So now we can see, and we have our hover. Now, the one that's selected. So now we want the one that's selected to be a brighter blue. So I'm going to go to that button. And I will say for the fill, right now it's um, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. I'm going to take this other color that we had in here for the hover fill. So we had the hover fill here. I'm going to take that. I'm going to go back to the fill and I'm going to say if this item dot is selected, then change it to this color else make it clear. So now when we select one, we have it highlighting that line item. We also have the hover. Maybe we want to change those colors just a little bit. All right, I have a new color that I like. I like the, um, the way it looks. We have our fields up here. We can now highlight. We also have the hover and we have all of our fields. Okay, so now I want to get this, um, the three ellipses here. I want to add that to my list. I, I could make an opponent, maybe, but I know components inside galleries are problems. So I'm just going to insert an icon and I'm going to get the three little dots for more. And then I'm going to add some buttons. So insert a button, but this button is going to be edit and it's going to be clear again. And the color of the text will be black. And the location, the position, uh, let's see, is it 30? So I'm going to use that same trick that I used with the, the highlighting. On the visible, I'm going to say if this item dot is selected, then variable menu else, it's false. Okay, so now when I select on it, we can see it appears. And let's take a look at SharePoint again. It puts it in a box. I'm going to put mine in a box too. Okay, so we have this button here. Insert a rectangle. We want the rectangle to be here. Now the rectangle is here. Let's take a look at theirs again. It kind of brings it down just a little bit. So let's go 20. And the height will be... 60, no, no, 80, I believe. And we're gonna do the same thing with the visibility. If this item dot is selected, then variable menu else false. And we want this to actually have a border of one, be black, with the border and this is clear. Okay. Actually, maybe it's not clear. Maybe it's white. Let's change it to white. Okay. And then bring the button forward. Make the button wider. The height is 30. Then I'm going to copy this button and paste it. All right, so I believe I have the the buttons perfect. Another thing, let's see let's see what happens. If I click on this, it kind of stays there. But when I click off, I don't think there is a click off on on Power Apps. But maybe we could put it on a timer, or we just leave it as it is. So we just have it there. If I click on it, oh, interesting. So a click off and then a click back on does actually work. Oh, but if I click on this one, interesting. So you can see I'm clicking. So actually on our main button here, on the main button on select, I also want to update context variable menu to false. And that's just because when I click off the main button, I want it to close. So if I click here, 
and I click here, it turns off. Look at that, okay, we're, we're getting somewhere. Now let's just make the edit and delete work. Now, okay, let's see if I can do this. Now the edit part, I, ha I need to change every single one of these to actually uh, a text box, not a label. Right now they're labels. So on here, let's see, title two is actually a text box. What we want, or a text label, what we want is actually a text input. So we actually want each of these to be text inputs. And then the display mode, we want it to be view at first. You see, so people don't even notice it. Okay, so now I'm gonna change all those labels to text boxes. I'm not gonna show you me doing working on that. I'll just fast forward. I'm changing all the labels to text uh, inputs. All right, so now all of those are actually text inputs. So we can see here on the left side, I changed them all to text inputs. I didn't rename anything. I'm just trying to do this quick for a video. I do recommend you renaming everything. This edit button right here, that's my button number three. I'll probably rename it just to make this easy. Button edit. On select, we're gonna set up another variable. So update context variable um, edit is edit so I, I need a home screen so I'm gonna make another screen so I'm on my home I come into projects I see all my uh, projects or these are actually tasks I click on one I click edit oh it does all of them we don't want all all right so all my text inputs I'm gonna highlight all of them and then I'm gonna do in the display mode, if this item is selected var edit, else view. All right, so I'm, it's set up now. If I click one and then I click edit, I can then edit everything, although the menu here doesn't disappear. Let's make the menu disappear too. Then when we click it, we want update context var menu false. Okay. We have our highlights, perfect. I click on one, I click edit. We can then edit in here. My next video, I'm gonna do part two. I don't want this video to be 30 minutes long. No one's gonna watch that long. But we're gonna do part one, part two. We recreated the navigation menu here. We have edit and delete. And I really think that's pretty neat, pretty powerful. People love that. Um, so I just want to say thank you for watching. If you want to keep watching, I'm going to keep working on recreating this. So tune in next week or in my next video if you watch this in the future. Um, and we will work on finishing, finishing this out and recreating classic SharePoint in Power Apps. So thank you all for watching. My name is Andrew Hess. I'll see you next week.